on this new journey that John and I are on, I started off at uh, around 300 pounds, maybe even a little bit higher. John convinced me to go, you know, take a training session and never look back since there. Dude quickly became one of my best friends. Um, he's challenged me in areas and I've challenged him and others. And those are the type of friends that, that, uh, that I want in my life. My wife and I are expecting our firstborn, so that's major whoop, for whoop. me. Young you know, Google. So. We're going to get Indeed. Google in fantastic shape, best shape of his life. And uh, while we're doing that, we're going to get a couple other things set up, too. It makes it different, so it's not the same monotonous routine of like, oh, man, I'm eating big chicken today. Really not about working out, but it's about mm -hmm. a lifestyle change. Coming from a Caribbean background, spices, <laughs> seasoning, it's something that I can't, it was hard for me to give up. I was suffering from anxiety. It went down dramatically just from the change wow. in my diet. Instead of living to eat, trying to eat to live instead. Let's do it, bro. All right. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, because we've got too much value to offer on this call. I'm telling you, here with Google McDougal. Coach Jay, you already know what time it is. Google. What's up, you know, man? This I'm might be the first time they met you, but maybe they met you before, bro. Tell the folks a little bit something about yourself. And then we're going to get into this big, big news in Google McDougal's life. Go ahead, bro. All right. Well, a little about myself, you know. Um, well, first of all, let me apologize for my current background. I'm chefing up some dinner as we speak. But um, I'm, uh, you know, a young IT professional over here trying to make some new new progress in life trying to get my fitness and health together get my finances together and just you know take a another goodness thing we call life my god i love it bro Dulo, <laughs> i met yo tell the folks how we met bro <laughs> well funny story we met in the gym a couple years ago um i think it was wow a long time ago actually bro Around 2014, um, I was doing my thing in the gym. At least what I thought I was doing was my thing. <laughs> my man Don <laughs> came through. He was like, hey, you look like you could use a trainer. I see the raw potential in you. It wasn't exactly that kind of conversation, but I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, John convinced me to go, you know, take a training session. and never look back since there um you know our progress physically were was just going through the roof and you know through the hard work and time spent we just developed a pretty pretty deep friendship i would say and it's continued over the stretch of the last five years going yes sir yes sir and do quickly became one of my best friends um He's challenged me in areas, and I've challenged him and others. And those are the type of friends that that uh, that I want in my life. People are moving me forward and challenging me to grow. And uh, Google's definitely one of those people. So starting on this new project, you know, my calling in life, I feel like is coaching. Uh, I love it, taking people from A to B. It helps me grow. It forces me to grow. It really gives me a reason to grow. Um, and this is one of them. Well, we get to like do a really cool project together. We're gonna get Google in fantastic shape, best shape of his life. And uh, while we're doing that, we're gonna get a couple other things set up too. I'm gonna grab my tea real quick. So, Duo, tell them all the big news, bro. So yeah, I just uh, accepted a full-time offer from the Federal Reserve Bank. Um, I'm getting pretty decent salary, starting off with a 98K. But um, the biggest Man, benefit... Pretty much 100. 100. <laughs> Why? Let him have it, bro. You know, we ain't going to be techno in here. 100K. Yes, sir. Not in California. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. 100. Let's go, bro. Yes, Tell the rest. So the best part of that is I get full benefits, you know, medical coverage, dental vision, uh, get my paternity leave, which is big now, as my wife and I are expecting our firstborn, so that's major whoop, for whoop. me. Young you know, Google. So that's what I'm saying. I had a progress in life, man, in all areas, so time to make oh, that change. 
So, you know, it comes with a lot of perks, 401k, get the pension plan. Um, I get the 401k, I do get matched up to 6%, which is awesome. Um, in my previous uh, role, I, I wasn't getting matched with my employer. So this is definitely a huge benefit for me. Definitely. Mm. And there are some other, you know, financial planning type perks and, you know, day-to-day -day perks that they offer. But those are the main ones that I consider to be of great value for me at this point in time. Mm. That's fantastic, man. Congratulations, bro. You deserve it. We've been talking about this for a while. I've seen the steps you've taken. You know, we talked about how, how things are progressing, how you're moving, uh, making different decisions, pros and cons, bro. I'm just proud of man. I'm happy to see you. Do your thing, Dougal. Now, on the health front, on the health front, tell them where we started, kind of where we, we are now. And then we're gonna hop into a regular coaching call. Um, All right. And by coach, and just go through this, man. All right. Sounds good. So where we started was um, I've been on an up and down journey uh, with my weight loss. Um, but on this new journey that John and I are on, I started off at uh, around 300 pounds, maybe even a little bit higher. Um, but I think I officially weighed in at 300 pounds when we first started. And since then, I've lost, uh, it's only been, I think, two or three weeks now, John. I think I'm going on the mm -hmm. third week now. Mm -hmm. I've already two. lost like, yep, I already lost like seven pounds and counted. Um, and I also lost a couple inches off my, my hips and waist already. And, you know, the diet's been, I guess, mainly keto, keto based in a sense. And also in addition with intermittent fasting and the two combined with the exercising, mainly HIIT and calisthenics, yoga, meditation, um, and obviously the proper intake of water. I've been able to just do my thing. Mm. Dougal, what's been the hardest part so far? The hardest part so far was kind of transitioning cold turkey on the food because I love to cook. Um, I love the way food tastes, you know, coming from a Caribbean background, spices, <laughs> seasoning. It's something that I can't, it was hard for me to give up. I won't lie. The exercise and stuff, I mean, yeah, I'm, you know, on the, the larger side, but I have no problem with doing any physical work. The hard part was definitely switching up the diet on such a, a fast rate. But, um, you know, like I said previously, trying to make a different change and progress further, I had to get myself out of that mindset of, um, I think you mentioned this to me years ago, you know, instead of living to eat, trying to eat to live instead. So I have to remind mm. myself of that every day. Well, say that again, bro. You cannot draw instead value of, like that and not highlight it. Say that again, <laughs> brother. Say that instead of again. Living, Instead of, <laughs> instead of living to eat, got to eat to live. So, uh, man, I've been eating stuff I never thought I'd be eating on a day-to-day -day basis. At least portions and the type of meals, you know, having uh, almond butter and, and celery for lunch. I'm like, what kind of starvation <laughs> strategy is this? But you know what <laughs> happened? But the thing is, the, the portions of eating this healthier stuff and you know, the right balance is, it's actually, I'm not really hungry throughout the days. It's been, it's pretty, pretty okay for the most part. It's just that my cravings for certain things are definitely still there. And I guess mm -hmm. that adds into the challenge. But mm -hmm. once, once I, you know, each day goes by, it, it has become a little easier to just say, all right, I'm eating almond butter and celery today. Yum. Because <laughs> I could be eating nothing. <laughs> that's tough man and and and, and i what i'm excited to see is where that is in 30 days yep same here you're starting something it's inertia guys you have to get moving and sometimes that's the hardest part not you know there's different stages of course and uh, i'll talk about kind of my stage in, in later stuff but mm -hmm. there's different stages and 
the beginning is tough. Man, it's all hard. It's all hard, but that doesn't matter because when you have a big why, mm -hmm. makes things a lot easier, right? You're in, yep. a, you're, in a, you're in a such a unique position in life, bro. I'm excited to be a partner with you in this, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, Same here, boy. man. Same <laughs> here, man. We're going to get it, man. I'm so excited. I'm just seeing, like, flashes of all, like, the different um, the different periods, the struggles, but also some of the victories that are going to come from this. And uh, I'm pretty hyped, man. Yeah. For sure, for sure. And, you know, uh, I mean, like, and uh -huh. like I said, with the with the challenges, like you know, with the food and stuff, I um, what about what also helps? And hopefully, this will be a gem for those out there. Is uh, it's been fun trying to play around with the different things that I have to eat. Cause like I, you know, I like to cook. Like I said previously, so instead of like you know boiling something or adding this or that to it. I'll, you know, prepare the same meal in a day. For example, I was supposed to bake chicken breast wrapped in prosciutto one meal. And I was like, ah, I don't really feel like baking chicken today. So I kind of sauteed everything up together in a pan instead. And it came out, you know, I got the same ingredients, just it was prepared differently. So it's fun to like switch up stuff like that. And it makes it different. So it's not the same monotonous routine of like, oh man, I'm eating baked chicken today. Mm. The variation. Yeah, it has that variation. It's the same stuff, but it's different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you're getting to put, you're getting to put kind of your creative touch on, on some yeah, of the process. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. And that's, that, that adds into the, okay, I can do this long term because if I can tailor it to how I would eat something healthy like this and it still remain healthy and good for me, then I can do that and still get the benefits. And I've noticed, you, go ahead. What have you noticed? I've noticed that, um, cause previously before I started, you know, the, the keto and the intermittent fasting, I had a lot of digestion problems from my previous gallbladder surgery that I had done. And mm. also was experiencing bad acid reflux. Mm. And since I've been fasting, drinking more water, cutting out some of the things from the diet, like the carbs and the extra seasoning and spices. I've noticed, one, I'm not experiencing the same symptoms in my stomach. And two, my anxiety levels, because I was suffering from anxiety, it went down dramatically just from the change wow. in my diet. My, bro, run that back. Run that back. <laughs> That's huge. Run that back. Yeah, so, you know, switching up, Switching up the, the the things that I've been traditionally used to, you know, all those extra spices and seasonings and cooking stuff in a certain way, it was just causing my digestive problems just to just be worse and worse. And I'm like, why am I not feeling better? This was happening for years. Mm. But, and you know, and when you feel physically bad every day for months and months, like your anxiety, like anxiety does happen. And just in regular every day, you're, you're questioning stuff, you're beating yourself up. And ever since I switched up my eating, I've been exercising more. I'm telling you, man, stuff that used to bother me does not bother me as much. I let go of things easier. I'm just like, ah, it's all right. We're going to figure it out. And my anxiety has gone down. I feel much better, man, for sure. This is, I was telling my wife, too, like, this is the best I've felt in a long time these last two weeks. Very best I felt in a long time. That's incredible. That's real talk. Yeah, man, for sure. For I'm hyped, sure. man. I'm excited. Man. So you think it's yes, been sir. worth it? Oh man, more more than worth it for me. Cause from literally the first week, I I think I started on a Sunday and I think by like Tuesday or Wednesday there was already a noticeable difference in how I felt mentally and physically. And wow. that, and that was one of the reasons I was like, all right, maybe this, this diet might be on to something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when yeah. I did my first, when I did my first weigh in and I saw that I was already three pounds down in a week, 
And I was like, wait a minute. I'm on to something. <laughs> so, and now, like I said, it's on to the third week coming up, and I'm already down seven. So, it's only a matter of time now before I, I reach my goal and make this, I guess, lifestyle change a real lifestyle. I'm excited, man. I'm just excited. Yo, so what questions kind of like came up for you during this whole process? Um, you know, maybe something that might come up with someone else um, or maybe questions you have right now. Uh, what what kind of came up for you? Well, my main thing at first was going back to being a cold turkey switch. I was thinking about, you know, what else could I drink besides black coffee and water? You know, could I drink juice could i drink For the um, intermittent fasting yeah kombucha could i still drink liquor can i go out and have lunch <laughs> with my co-workers you know stuff like that so those are questions i think a lot of people want to know is like what can i keep from my same routine that is going to be hard for me to part ways because in this day and age you know socializing going to the bar with friends and stuff it's a it's a part of the everyday life so like how do you go to the bar and be like, ah, oh, man, I'm going to just get water. <laughs> yep. 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 And that's why this is, would you agree that that's why this is really not about working out, but it's about mm -hmm. a lifestyle change. Indeed. It's about redesigning things. And and honestly, guys, that, that, I mean, Doug, but sometimes that means breaking certain habits, which means that you change certain relationships, right? So if you have yeah. that one friend for me that the only way you guys you connect ever is is to pound like 30 beers yeah that's how you connect now you don't have that avenue to connect like that anymore and you have to kind of ah. redesign what does that look like ah i see what you're saying yeah so there has to be something else we have in common something else you have in common but also also rising up to the top of that is that you're going to have to redesign things and that that means like certain difficult oftentimes it's not it's maybe you change a route that you take right or mm -hmm. maybe it's a work or maybe you change uh <clears throat> a habit that you do uh maybe like something at night that you, that you eat or sleeping habits or anything like that yeah um and sometimes it changes things that are difficult so like like certain relationships or um certain kind of like usual triggers like I, if i do this i know it's gonna make me feel good right away mm, that's what you're saying but you but you have to think long term and say it's gonna make me feel good but i don't well, want to jeopardize yeah. my long-term game uh that's a great great way of looking at it and you know what? Now that I think about it, that's literally my mindset in the morning. <laughs> when I set my mm. alarm for 5.15 and I'm like, damn, I want to lay in bed for like 10 more minutes. That's all I need. <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, if I take 10 more minutes, then I'm probably going to end up taking five more minutes. Then I'm going to be late to the gym. Then I'm going to rush my workout. Then I'm going to rush my workout. I'm not going to get the full benefits. I'm going to maybe skip a set, skip a rep. I'm going to leave. I'm going to be late to work. Then I just messed up my whole morning. Yep. So I'm like, all right, just got to get up and do what I got to do. I love it, bro. I love it. Yo, that's so much value, man. I think we can hop into our regular um, call. Just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what it really takes to transform your life, not just in health but in how Doug had to, had to change habits to really get this job. I've seen him pursue this for quite a while. It wasn't easy. It was a hard journey. Uh, he's been at it for a while, but he finally got a, he got a point of victory. And now we're at this journey. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be short. It's gonna be a lifestyle change. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get some victories, man. And uh, let's do it, bro. All right. Appreciate you, bro.